What's up guys, we're back at Jones Subwoofer Solutions again. Running another amp on the dyno today. And today it is the Demore E700.4, the 700 watt four channel. Does feature Demore Clean D technology. And we're gonna see what this thing does today. So it is rated 100 watts by four at four ohms. It's rated 175 watts by four at two ohms and bridged it's rated 350 by two. So when we bridge it, we should see 350 watts each channel. And we'll, we'll see what it does. We'll check the efficiency and the power output and we'll see how it stacks up to its ratings. So drop your guesses now if you wanna guess what this will do. We'll catch you over on the dyno and we'll get to work. All right, guys, here we are on the bench with the Demore 700.4, the E-Series 700.4. Again, it's rated 100 watts by four at four ohms and 175 watts by four at two ohms while we have it in four channel mode. And then I'll bridge it uh, in stereo into two channels where it's rated 350 watts by two at four ohms. And we'll see how this does. So we're going to start with certified, which is up to 1% distortion, uncertified, which will take us into clipping or distortion, and then dynamic is the burst track. And I am using just a 1 kilohertz or 1000 hertz track. It's pretty standard for a full range amp like this to be tested at 1000 hertz. So here we are, we'll get started with certified. And 4 ohms. We're at 14.6 volts starting. I am on my C max. It's sitting a little low for C max, but this amp shouldn't have very much current draw, so we should be fine. Shouldn't have much voltage drop either. So again, rated 100 watts by four. Let's see what it has. Up to 1% distortion. We got 116 watts into four ohms. We dropped to 14.61 volts. So that is above rated power. Now we'll go back and we'll check the two ohm performance. And again, two ohms, it was rated 175 watts by four. Here we go. And we got 201 watts into 2 ohms, dropping to 14.5 volts. So again, well above rated power on both channels there. Pull this meter off just a minute. And we will go into uncertified, where some amps you may see more power with just a little bit of clip or distortion. If I remember right, I don't think that's the case with these amps, but we'll find out. Again, we're gonna start at four ohms. With 14.66 volts starting. Here we go, four ohms rated 100 watts by four. And again, we get 116 watts into four ohms, dropping to 14.61 volts. Move into two ohm, where it's rated 175 watts. Here we go. And that's it, we got 201 watts again, dropping to 14.5 volts. So great performance so far. We're gonna go ahead and exit uncertified and we'll enter dynamic. And again, we're just gonna use the one kilohertz burst track. We're starting at four ohms again. Still at 14.66 volts. Let's see what kind of burst power this has.
think that's it. Got 122 watts into four ohms. Drop to 14.64 volts. So again, above rated power. We'll go to two ohms. I'm sure we'll see our 175 watts here. What will it do? Let's see. There's some burst power. So 220 watts into two ohms, dropping to 14.6 volts. So that is 220 watts per channel. So pretty good performance, I'd say. Well above rated power. And I'm gonna put pause on for just a minute. I'm gonna rewire this into two channel stereo. We'll go from there. All right, I'm back. Got this rewired to two channel stereo. It was rated 350 watts per channel at four ohms. So let's go ahead and see if it'll do that on the certified test. I'm gonna go to four ohms. We're still at 14.65 volts. And let's see what it does. Again, rated 350 watts. And we got 355 watts into four ohms, dropping to 14.5 volts. Next, we will go to uncertified mode. And we'll see if with a little bit of clipping if this is any higher. On uncertified, it does keep reading into distortion or clipping. Here we go. And we got 356 watts into four ohms, dropping to 14.5 volts. And one last test. We're gonna check the dynamic power of this amp while it's bridged. And again, we'll use the one kilohertz burst track. Voltage hasn't changed much for all these runs. But here we go. A lot more power than I expected. We got 425 watts into four ohms, dropping to 14.5 volts. So not bad at all. I'm very impressed by this amp. Uh, he very well could have called it an 800 instead of a 700. But let me know what you guys think of it. I'm gonna put up a performance review, and then we can get a better look at the amp and get a look inside it. Catch you back in a minute. All right, guys, we're back. We need to look inside this amp. The Demore E700.4. That is a very clean and sleek looking amp. Very nice looking. Let's take a look at the end caps. On this end, you have your channel one and two RCA inputs on the right side and channels three and four on the left. It does have high level inputs. Then you have your level or your gain, an adjustable bass boost. The crossover can be set for 
full or high pass filter or for uh, subwoofer use. Then you have your high pass filter, which is 50 hertz to 250 hertz. And then on the other side, you have stacked speaker outputs. And I fit 14 gauge in those. They may be just a little bit bigger, but I used 14 gauge today. You have a power and protect light, and then four gauge power and ground with, uh, again, maybe a 14 gauge remote. And one thing to notice, it does have two 35 amp internal fuses. So that is it for the Demore E700. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Let me know what you guys think of the amp. Let me know if there's an amp that you guys wanna see run. I'll try to get it done for you guys. As always, I wanna thank you for watching. If you could, please like the video. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't and hit the bell so that you know when I post a new video. Again, I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.